Are you looking for that nice smooth paint surface on your rocket so that the rocket flies higher and it looks better? That's what I'm going to cover in this episode of the Rocketry Workshop. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We're in the process of building the Blue Streak rocket and we're at that point now where we're going to sand the fins to make them smooth so that the rocket flies higher and then when you paint it, the paint looks a lot smoother. Um, in our previous episode, we had uh, applied the fill and finish onto the rockets and right now it's pretty rough, but everything is nice and dry. Um, and so we can sand it and I have uh, about 220 grit sandpaper here. Um, and when you sand this, see that it makes a lot of dust and that's good. Um, that's why I like the fill and finish because it sands so easy. It doesn't take a lot of time and you're going to get a smooth surface really quick. So you can, I want you to watch the way I'm holding this, I'm supporting the fin with my fingers so that I don't snap the fin off. And you want to look at the fin as you're sanding to see um, if you're sanding too far. Um, right here on this portion, it's getting a little darker, which means that I'm getting thinner uh, material. So I want to stay away from that and sand over here. And now that's a really smooth surface finish right there. I, I really like that. Um, just flip it over and then do the other side. Now, sometimes the fin might be a little warped, um, in which case you can see that here on the front edge of the fin, I'm, I'm really thin, but I'm really thick right here in the middle, which means that the fin is kind of cupped like this. And when I'm sanding, I'm sanding here, but not here in the middle. So what I have to do now is to pull it off the sanding block and sand manually right here in the middle, try to uh, get that smooth. You can see I'm, I'm using a nice little circular motion. And I, I folded the sandpaper here on the edge to get into that corner. And you'll want to do that too. Now, we also did the, the leading and the trailing edges. So we'll go ahead and sand those. I usually do those last because they don't it's really easy to put a lot of pressure on them and sand too fast. So I want to do that nice and light here on the tip. I'll go back onto the sanding block so I can get it nice and straight, just like that. And then we'll do the trailing edge. That is the before, and this is the after. Look how much nicer that looks and how, how smooth it is. Um, and that's going to make the rocket fly a lot higher. And the next step would be to paint the rocket. Um, I would go with a primer first. A primer will get everything a nice uniform color. Um, and then if you're going to paint it a light color, um, do those first before you do the darker colors. I'm not going to cover the painting in this series. Uh, we do have other videos on painting rockets. A little, it's a little bit more involved, but it all starts right here with making sure that the surface is smooth before you put the paint on. The paint is not going to make the surface smooth. It's only going to enhance what's already there. So if it's, if it's rough, it's going to make it look rougher. If it's smooth, it's going to make it look smoother. So that's how you get your rocket ready to paint. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Over here on the side, we have some other videos I think you're going to enjoy. 
Um, if this is your first time coming to our YouTube channel, please subscribe down here on the bottom under uh, YouTube. Also, uh, leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing and maybe what you want to see in the future. So thanks for coming. Uh, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.